I'm your pal Andy Cohen hosting a social distancing party from home. The show must go on, whether in the clubhouse or Andy's house. Uh, I am feeling a lot better, and I am so eager just to get back to doing what we do best here at Watch What Happens Live, which is put on a show to make you smile at the end of the day. Andy Cohen's got the full one. Andy Cohen returning to TV Monday night for a new episode of Watch What Happens Live at Home. Nene Lee, hi, Ray. Hey, Jerry, great to see you. Just 10 days after revealing his coronavirus diagnosis, Cohen first broke the news on an Instagram post, writing in part, after a few days of self-quarantine and not feeling great, I have tested positive for coronavirus. As much as I felt like I could push through whatever I was feeling to do WWHL from home, we are putting a pin in that for now so I can focus on getting better. The beloved TV host opening up about his health scare Monday on his Sirius XM show. My symptoms were a fever, tightness in my chest, a cough, very, very achy, some chills, loss of smell and appetite. But Andy says the hardest part of all of it was being separated from his one-year-old son, Ben. I have been quarantined from Ben for the last uh, 12 days or so, and I'm going to get to see him right after the show. Andy now recovered and reunited with his little boy, ready to share his story. Oh, as promised, Andy Cohen Hi, is Andy. with us live. Hey, Andy. How you feeling this morning? Ladies, it's so good to see you together. I'm drinking out of my Sunday Today <laughs> mug that Willie Geist gave me. Well, yeah, we if have I'm mugs too. Give you both elbows. <laughs> we got you. How you doing, Andy? You look good. You feel all better? I feel strong. I feel like it worked its way through my system. I'm solidly at 90%. It's 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 good. Walk us through, Andy, because I think people are sitting at home and some people think they have it because they feel, I don't know, achy. You've had colds and maybe flus and stuff. How is this different? What symptoms did you have? It was lingering. There was I'm asthmatic, but the tightness that I felt in my chest was different from the shortness of breath uh, that I feel as an asthmatic. It was a, a low fever it was no sense of smell or taste, really achy throughout my body, just persistent aches that wouldn't um, go away. Uh, kind of a dry cough, not horrible, but there. Uh, and it took, like I said, about 11 days, I would say, or 12 days to work its way through my system. I took a lot of Tylenol, uh, drank a lot of vitamin C, and slept a lot, really a, 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 an energy sap, mm -hmm. a major energy sap. Andy, I didn't and know you had like, asthma. That's like a little scary, yeah. wasn't it? Because it's a respiratory illness. And I mean, when you have those underlying conditions, sure. I think that's where even for someone as young and healthy as you are, it's really, that's a little terrifying. It was a little, it was a little scary. But the thing that um, really helped me is that my doctor recommended that I get something called a pulse oximeter. And that's one of those little devices. You can get them at drugstores and you stick your finger in it uh, to take your pulse. But what it also does is measure the level of oxygen that's going to your lungs. And so for me, there were some nights where I thought this doesn't feel right. And I was able to use this pulse oximeter and see what the reading was. And my doctor said, if it goes below X reading, give us a call and mm. then we'll talk. So at least that was a way for me to monitor it at home uh, without driving myself, you know, crazy. Being sick was tough, I know, but I know what was tougher was being away from Ben. I mean, you had to be cordoned off. Will you tell us a little bit about what that was like? And I want to hear about the reunion, really. <laughs> well, it was, um, I just stayed in my room really uh, for that whole time. And when he was in the kitchen, I wasn't in the kitchen. And so he, I guess, thought I was out of town or I don't know what. That was yesterday, right after I got off the air on the radio. Uh, I went in and, you know, look, I'm a romantic. I've been sitting in my room thinking nothing uh, of nothing but seeing him again, watching him on the nanny cam. Uh, and it was a delightful reunion. I can't say that it was one 
for a movie, it, you know, I, I joined him playing blocks and he immediately <laughs> started knocking down what I was making. And, but he was delighted. His face lit up Aww. and, we, you know, touched me a lot. It was very sweet. I'm still kind of trying to social distance from him as much as I can, even though the doctors say it's okay. They, they told me that five days after my last symptom, uh, it mm -hmm. would be okay to see him. Oh, gosh. Well, I know it's so hard not to snuggle such an adorable little baby, mm. but you'll be back in business soon. We're so glad you're feeling better. Thank you so much. And we're so happy just when you thought my show couldn't get more low tech. Here we are <laughs> back on Bravo every night. I mean, we are hanging by a piece of scotch tape and Lisa Rinna's <laughs> Wi-Fi connection. Well, I see in your bathroom there, too. Which to be very good, by the way. But well, I know, and you know, this is a tough, heavy time for people, but we are happy to bring some stupid fun back at the end of the night. <laughs> well, that's, we need stupid we do. fun, Andy. That's what America needs right now. We love you. Thanks, Andy. Thank you, Andy. We love, love you. you. Uh, and you can catch all the stupid fun you want, as Andy says. Watch what happens live Sunday through Thursday nights at 11, 10 Central on our sister network, Bravo. All right.